scheming. These guys are scheming right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys uh, what broke in the way and what it looks like. It's a bummer. It feels like we just got started with the drifting. All right, guys, we're here at Dreamers of Drift for the Texas Heat Wave Tour, which you might hear some music in the background. That's because the Texas Heat Wave Tour is a giant car show here in Austin, Texas at the Travis County Expo Center. You're about to get a little glimpse right there. Now, I do not have, I do not, I do not have my Mustang here with me because at the last Dreamers of Drift, aside from blowing the coolant line, I also blew a power steering line that I haven't been able to fix. Now, the fix should arrive later this week. If not, we're gonna transition into an electric steering rack that I got courtesy of my friend, Isaac. So I'm here today actually driving Isaac's car right here. They're scheming. These guys are scheming right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about how the boys are scheming. Isaac, what's up, brother? High five. What's up, man? Jordan, we give you the initial high five. Oh, Welcome. what's this? There's a what's camera on? on? Oh, dang. Oh, okay. Boom! Got the whole crew here, and the best part about all this is I don't even have to bring my car. Thanks to you. <laughs> yes, sir. I would say actually the best part of this is now it's an actual YouTube channel because you have a true YouTuber here. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, it. okay. Listen, what did you call me when I got here? I don't remember. What did I call you? Netflix. Oh, Netflix. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's not forget. Let's not forget. Yeah, you can be on Netflix. Not everyone can be on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, OnlyFans, what's going on? <laughs> Under the bridge, how you living? <laughs> <laughs> so the, for me, there, there was no pressure coming here until you showed up. Yeah. Do you remember what you told me at SEMA last year? You probably don't even remember. I don't, I tell I him. Really <laughs> what did I tell him? <laughs> this man said, and I quote, you will be a prospect driver within a year or you're not my friend. Oh, so that, yeah. yeah, I do remember that now. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so that means so. today I'm gonna jump in a car that I've only driven on the street and I gotta deliver on this figure eight. You do. you do. It's a figure eight, dude. It's a figure eight. We'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see what I've happens. figure eighted his car before. <laughs> Maybe you could do it today too. On purpose or on accident? No, on purpose. <laughs> oh no, oh yeah, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. But yeah, next event I'll definitely have my car out here. But let's not waste any more time. Let's just, wait, hold up. I forgot we're in the presence of greatness here. You brought the bad boy all the way from Houston. Supercharged, yeah. spec five, wide body, 10th anniversary. Yep, 10 to 10. So that's what I love about your car is you drive it and you drive it far. Yeah. So it's like, and you beat on it. So don't you drive it from Houston to Coda and race it? Yeah, I do. Cause you gotta use it. Like this is the cleanest this car's ever been. And I just polished this so it didn't look crappy, but it stays dirty. What's the point? What's gotta, the point? Gotta use it or you lose it. But again, exactly. let's not waste any time. Let's jump right to it. All right, we're about to do the first lap with Isaac driving. He's getting ready. Yes, sir. Putting on my gloves. Max so, grip. So I basically do want to see the course and uh, see how Isaac drives before I give it a shot. And uh, we'll go from there. You're going to love the track. We're going to love it. We'll see. Sitting position isn't all that great, but uh, let's get it. He's driving the car because his is broken. You guys know this already because this is his channel. So yeah. Let's see if you can do it. Are we ready? Yep, send it. Later. 
try to go wide, just don't, I mean, obviously don't spin out. So I just did my first laps out in Isaac's Mustang. Uh, he used to have a slider seat in here. One of my previous YouTube videos when I drove this car, you can see that. But my seating position is, is like this. As you can see, my arms are tucked in real tight. So any turn that I make, I'm hitting my elbows on the where the hydraulic handbrake is and I'm in the center console. And then on this side, I'm pretty much hitting the seat. So it's a little difficult, but I feel really good compared to last time. Uh, initiating into the turn and then starting the transition. It's just getting my hand and feet in the right positions, but hopefully he gives me another try and uh, we nail this today because I think I'm almost there. Tones, what do you think? Pretty good. It's pretty good. That first corner, or that first turn, Yeah. real solid. That, that second transition, though. Yeah. And I also think I'm transitioning way too early because I was going into the, the, the center, the cones. Yeah. Right? Like I started my transition, but then I'm like, I would cut through that center piece, yes. if you know what I mean, yes. to keep it going. So I almost need to hold the first turn a little longer before the, the car actually transitions to then go around the second loop. So, but yeah, we'll keep at it. It's fun. I, just, I really wish I had my car here. <laughs> I really wish I did. Next time. Yeah, so it uh, looks like Isaac's going to do some paid ride-alongs. I'll get some footage of his, uh, of his car from the outside because he rips this thing. Yes, so, he does. Let's get back to it. So a few things to go over was you said I like how you're like trying to be mean but trying to be nice he's like I'm not trying to be a dick you need to yank on that handbrake <laughs> and he's like you're, you're being a bitch about it you need to yank on it um so I was saying earlier you were saying my transition was too early yeah okay yeah because it was like I was cutting into the center cone yeah so what you can do fuck I wish I had next to the whiteboard that would be drawing it out. Well, Isaac was saying here, you need to yank on it and hawk that thing. Yeah, you yeah, know? And it said it in two yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, pretty much, once you get to the part where the figure eight crosses, you gotta be getting ready to like, transition. Ready to transition, not yeah. transition. Yeah, you gotta be like, pretty much straight, but like in mid transition. Almost like that, the, the, the intersection of that eight is a pivot point for you. Yes. Okay, yeah. I don't understand. Like you're, because that, you're trying to go wide. Yeah, because if you're you're going in and almost think of it like it's a pole and you hit that and that's where you're snapping back to give yourself enough time to catch it, settle in and go. Because if you're already past that point heading into where the curve is starting and you're way out here and then you try to snap it back, you're either going to loop yourself because you're trying to get into where your race line should be yeah. or you're going out way too wide. And I'm just cut, I'm just transitioning before that intersection. Yeah. So then that's where you're you're yeah. choking up there and spinning. Yeah. Yeah. Like I felt like the steering was off. I even told Thomas, I was like, this feels a little bit weird. And then we, we got to where we were at, like going straight and my wheel was like this, but the car was going straight. So I was like, mm, that's weird. And then we heard like a big rubbing noise. So 
yeah, end of story, spindle broke. I gotta go home, get my spare spindles that I have on a spare chassis, get the adapters for the angle kit, and reinstall. So basically, we're all fucked. Yeah. Uh, well, you guys are getting to work. I'm gonna make sure that everything goes to plan and coordinate between both of y'all via phone. Hey, can you drive stick? Yeah. Ethan's gonna get his Chick-fil-A. He can't drive that car. <laughs> no. He, he, let me specify. He can, he's technically able to operate that vehicle. I don't no, allow him to. <laughs> I tried, buddy. I tried. It, it was I worth tried. a shot. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys uh, what broke in the way and what it looks like. It's a bummer. It feels like we just got started with the drifting, um, but let's check it out. So if you look, you can see where the wheel and tires are already pointed out this way versus this one's nice and straight. Uh, let's see if I can get a good clip for y'all. Right there. Let's see. You see where it broke? So basically, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we got plenty of shade and we're gonna to work right now. leaving a little nugget in here just for for brian like he did for me i really appreciate his help he's helping me do this a lot great uh, just cross the bridge yeah you'll find it man. okay thank you it ain't that hard so this has been quite possibly the longest day ever so isaac we <clears throat> you had a scotty d spindle adapter kit correct yes so spindle adapter kit so very similar to what i put on to my car from the make it modular um, but basically we had to go get new spindles because the other ones broke and now we had to figure out how all this went together Figured out the passenger side. That's basically done So now I'm speeding through the driver's side and then we had to get really creative with some other tools But here's the spindle and you can see how it broke And I mean even if you went to weld it the crack pretty much went almost all the way across oh, so, Actually, I think it went all the way across on the other side. Yeah, Almost. It's also cracked down here. I don't know if you noticed Oh, that. yeah. So right there it's cracked and then right here I think I saw like it's starting to crack yep. again. So I mean that that piece was pretty much gone. Um, so yeah, we finished taking everything apart. Now we're putting everything back together. Um, hopefully we finish slapping it together and maybe I get one more run. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Well guys, that did not go according to plan. <laughs> How you feeling? Dude, I'm whooped. I'm whooped too. Alex came in yep. at the tail end. Yeah, I did. I threw him an RTR shirt so he wouldn't ruin his uh, UT Nike shirt. But uh, yeah, let's talk about let's talk about what happened. Um, we pretty much put on the we finished putting on the Scotty D adapter with the new well not new they're OEM spindles and just slapped everything back together. He's gonna finish up in the morning and he's gonna run. But as for me, that's gonna wrap it up for me. I will not be out here tomorrow. I wish we would have gotten more seat time, but it just is what it is. My car broke on my first drift event and uh, I was spewing cooling all over the place. And now I have a broken power steering line, but we're going to fix it. We're going to continue coming out here because I feel like I'm on the verge of really just like having a drifting breakthrough. What do you think, Isaac? Like I said, bro, you've killed it. Like this track event, you almost connected the entire track first try. So I think you got it. You just need a couple more hours, not a broken car. <laughs> yeah, broken car on both parts. And that's the thing is, your car was a lot easier to drive than my first drift event because my car was pretty much mostly stock, no angle mods, no negative camber, none of that. So I've tested my car a few times and it feels a lot better, but driving your car really made it, I it's, felt like it was an easy button. It's, it's the angle kit. Like everyone says it's a cheat mode, but I'm going to be honest with this body style Mustang, you kind of need the cheat code. That's what everyone keeps saying. So, I mean. And it, I mean, it holds true because I almost linked it on the first drive. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, so I'm excited. I'm ready to get back out here. But again, that's gonna wrap it up for me. Let me put my water down. Uh, you guys know what to do. Leave a comment below. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, peace out.